Today, we're tackling the hurdles that every guitar player faces, getting our head together. And we're gonna learn the strategies to turn frustrating setbacks into life-changing turning points. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome friends to this episode of the Play Guitar Podcast. I am Lee and this is the podcast that's determined to make you a better guitar player. No matter if you're just starting out or you've been playing for years, this is the show that will help you become the guitarist that you always wanted to be. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to the podcast and check out the description for all of the links from the show. If you are new here, Welcome. This is a place to feel good about yourself. You can feel empowered that you can get better at the guitar. And it's a place that makes you think about what you're really doing and whether your efforts are getting the results that they deserve. We're going to talk about turning something bad into something good. It's a different way of thinking. If you've ever tried to get out of a funk or get out of a negative time in life, You know that it can be very, very difficult. Sometimes it feels like it has you, right? Sometimes you struggle to put something behind you and you keep failing over and over again. But then you think about those things that, you know, the struggles you had in your past. One day, sometimes it's just over. Have you ever experienced that? That negative time or the bad situation that you were in, it starts to lose its influence on you could be that you moved to a new place, you changed uh, a job, you got a new friend. Uh, But the way that you used to look at that old situation is now a little bit different. You started to look at it from the outside, not from the inside of the struggle. You got removed from it. Your situation has been reframed. Uh, Just for example, say that you lived in an apartment with some horrible neighbors (laughs) and they just and as long as you lived there you would try to talk to them they maybe they were doing something they were loud or something like that you tried and tried and tried felt like it would never be over and then one day they moved away and you were in the problem now you're outside of the problem so we can quickly forget how horrible it was that these long periods of bad times happened. When it gets over, it's over, even if the problem lasted decades. So that reframing is what happened there, right? You were, your frame was looking at the problem from inside the problem, then something happened that removed you from it. Now you're looking at things differently. Your perspective came from an outside source. You had a situation change and it got you out. It freed you. And hopefully you see where I'm going with this, right? Reframing or changing your perspective, changing your approach to a problem. It doesn't have to be hoped for. It doesn't have to be waited for. Once you realize you're down or you realize you're stuck, there's some techniques that you could use whenever you want to change your situation from the inside. So we're going to take a look at how to do this for the guitar because it's a big problem with guitar. Sometimes we feel stuck. Sometimes we just don't feel like we're ever going to get any better. We're we're worrying about it from the inside and we're going to take a look about how to use this for a guitar. So first, uh, first, thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. This is it's this isn't uh, something I take lightly. Uh, I know you're, you you might be driving and be, be working. You might take special time out of your day just to listen to this podcast. And I'm very grateful for that. And I hope that I can help you with any number of problems that you have with the guitar. These frustration episodes are, are very, they're very popular because uh, I don't think you really get much of this anywhere else. Uh, and it's a huge problem here. So I'd like for you to agree with me with something. Guitar frustration. This is something that's part of learning the guitar. It's normal. Getting frustrated with guitar has got to happen. It's not just you. Everyone goes through this. You've decided that guitar is awesome. 
And it is awesome. I think that way too. And it's something that you think is going to enrich your life and keep you interested for years and years until you get stuck. And then what happens? Then it sucks, right? Your progress stops and immediately you you get this negative, uh, you know, the voice in your head, the negative self-talk, the way you think and as, as if you're talking to yourself, the negative starts to take over. Oh, I'll never do this. Or I'm not very good at this. Or uh, you might change that. You might put the blame outward. Your self-talk might start to blame other things. Oh, this lesson is horrible. They don't know how to teach this stuff, right? But you want to be good. And you want to be good really, really, really in a bad way, right? You want to be good. And it's enough that you just can't stop thinking about playing the guitar. So we agreed together that frustration is a common part of the learning process. But what we didn't know is it really helps us grow. Being frustrated is puts a, a, a uh, spotlight on a problem. It helps us grow. Also realize that in guitar, it's very common for people to set themselves too high expectations, excessively high expectations. I see it all of the time. You're not a lost cause. You are just like everyone else. We all do these things. So if we take that into consideration, with all of this, you now know what we need to deal with. You're a guitar teaching pro. (laughs) So we're going to move on to the next step back there. We're going to back up and imagine that you walked up to your house. And you looked into the window from outside. And there you are in the window, in your chair, practicing the guitar. What do you look like? Think about that. What do you look like sitting there practicing the guitar? What's your expression? Do you see frustration on your face? That's expected. It's got to happen sometimes. (laughs) Do you see someone who's put way too high expectations on himself or herself? Uh, Do you see someone who's impossible of learning or progressing? Probably not, right? Realize there is a reason that you're frustrated. And most likely is you're missing something. You're missing a piece of the puzzle and you don't know what it is. So what do you do when you're missing a piece of the puzzle? What do you do? Do you just keep trying to put the wrong piece of the puzzle in over and over and over again for years and decades? That's not what you do when you're doing a real puzzle, right? You stop what you're doing and you look for it. Frustration isn't negative at all. It's the most important thing we have. It's the most important safeguard that we have. Frustration tells you that you're missing something with guitar. You're not able to play that song because there's a gap in your skills. You're missing something. You can't solo effectively because you haven't learned some things. You haven't learned about phrasing, for example. Or your chords might sound sloppy because you don't understand or you haven't practiced how to use rhythm correctly. Learning the guitar is like building a house. From the foundation, one layer after another, it's all important. Each one supports the next. Each skill supports the next one that you need. And once you find that missing skill, that crack in your knowledge, not only was it going to fix your current problem, but, and I see this all the time, it will make everything else you've learned clearer and sharper. This is reframing. We're looking at the situation instead of being trapped by the situation. So the next thing I like to talk about is something called a growth mindset. You hear about mindset a lot on the internet, all these people trying to help you with your mindset. I mean, it's simple. It boils down to the way you think, the way you approach things, right? Uh, And making some decisions ahead of time, how you're going to deal with things. It's not easy to do. Uh, You know, we get frustrated on things. That's autopilot. I always talk about autopilot all the time. Um, 
you know, we have a new puppy. This puppy <laughs> is a handful, right? And this puppy knows how to push my buttons. I will, I will go from having a wonderful day to being very frustrated really fast before I know it, right? So with that puppy, I had to realize, hey, hey, this isn't uh, the, when he acts up or when he's got too much energy, he can't help it. It's not his fault, right? So instead of me uh, not being prepared and reacting to a situation, I'm, I'm preparing for that situation. He's going to act this way. He's going to kind of push my buttons. And then I can act in, in, a, in a positive way, one that's going to help him and help me stay calm. So I'd like for you to start thinking about cultivating a growth mindset, uh, thinking about how you approach the guitar and how you realize, how, how are you going to react the next time that you're frustrated? Do you really think that you can't do this? Do you really think that you're not going to get any better? Do you really think that this is something that's beyond you? Uh, well, if you've listened to me enough, you realize that I believe that you can do this. I know you can. And this isn't something that's too difficult for you. It's you're either missing something or you're coming at it the, a, a, a way that's not um, streamlined, right? That's not as quick as you would like for it to be. So one of the things that we can do to get a growth mindset is change that. Remember, we t I talked about the self-talk, the way you talk to yourself in your mind, right? Oh, I can never do this. I can but Making a decision to uh, change that. To use positive self-talk. Now, I used to think that this was crazy. I used to think, oh, the way you talk to yourself, it's not going to have any effect on you. It has a ton of effect on you. I'm sitting here today because of self-talk and changing my self-talk. I didn't think I could do any of this. I didn't think I'd be sitting with you every week on Wednesday <laughs> and, and, and helping people that I have never met before all over the world. Uh, and, and did I want to do that? Did I want to put myself out there? And, 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 uh, my self-talk has been the reason why I've continued to do this each year, helping people play the guitar, helping people move past these problems here. Uh, it's very powerful and you, and these things can bring confidence too. So for an, let's do an example of that. For example, um, uh, I'm learning a couple very challenging songs right now, and I found that I get up to a certain point, um, and and then I get to a difficult part, and then my mind wanders, right? So I tell myself, I am able to finish this song. I am able to do it. it, it bottom line, it, just remembering, right? Remembering, oh, I'm stuck at this one place. I need to keep at it. I need to keep at it. Uh, not just the the positive things that, but just just when you wake up in the day, you realize this is something that I can do, and I need to put time in, and I can do it. I can so being positive, but also bringing it up, bringing it up over the time. It, your your mind goes, this is important. This is something I need. My problem solving skills on this. Um, it's part of a learning journey. You know, the, learning is not just even and slow. OK, sometimes um, it's fast. Sometimes you work on something and you just get it right away. Other times it stops for a while or it plateaus. Uh, all of these things are going to happen. But if you keep at it, that's the way that you get successful. So using a mindset shift towards enjoying this process, even though you're going to get some bumps in the road. So what I'd like for you to do tomorrow morning when you're brushing your teeth, you're looking at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> right when you're done brushing your teeth, I like for you to say to yourself, my first mindset shift is going to be about the journey that I'm on, the practicing. I'm going to decide that I'm going to enjoy practicing rather than getting frustrated because I'm not where I want to be yet. L enjoying the journey. Uh, I can't wait to play guitar today, no matter what happens, whether it's a good day or a bad day, at least I'm playing guitar. Try that tomorrow and see, see how your practice goes. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So this segment of the podcast is about transforming these setbacks, these frustrations into motivation for improvement. 
realize that when you get here, these you're just right at the door before something big is going to happen. Uh, one of the things we need to do is learn from our mistakes. We got to view mistakes as opportunities for learning and opportunities to improve. Uh, we're, one of the things that people talk about guitar playing is they're lost all the time. It's just too much. I don't know what to do. Well, when you find yourself making the same mistake over and over again, you know what to do. When I have a student and I see they make that same mistake over and over again, I, that's information I need. That's good information because that tells me pinpointing this is what I need to work on until I don't make that mistake anymore. I don't miss that foundational skill right there. You can find everything that you need to work on by taking a video of your playing and then put the guitar down, watch the video, pay attention to it, and make some notes. Okay, I'm missing this. I would like for this to sound better. Well, there you are. That's what you need to work on right there. There are and find out, okay, what are the skills I need to correct this mistake? This is important. And once you do that, now set some achievable goals to get there. Okay, uh, my vibrato goes out of tune too much. I need to work on that. Well, how can I do that? Well, um, maybe it's because I need to start doing some technique exercises so I can get comfortable on the guitar, uh, so I have a little bit better command of it. And then I need to spend some time working on my vibrato and making sure and listening to it with a along with a, a chord so I can hear how far uh, out and back that I'm pulling into. And each time I do that, maybe I'll celebrate along the way by uh, learning a song that I'd like to learn or maybe uh, buying a piece of gear or something like that. But getting these setbacks uh, as starting points, as fuel for progress, um, they're very powerful motivators for improvement. I know how I want to sound. And if I'm not sounding that way, that tells me exactly what I need to work on right now so I can get there. Now, remember, your practice is where we can change all of these things. So if it could be that your practicing itself is a problem here, too. So I think that would be one of the first places I would start is to get your practicing together, uh, get a, a solid time, uh, daily practice if you can. Make sure that you're pr practicing things that are sounding bad for one half of it, things that are sounding that you need to keep up after another one, but getting a good practice strategy to tackle these specific frustrations and enhance all of your skill development is really, really important. If you don't know how to do that, look for it, ask for it. You can ask me about that. I'd be happy to help you get your practicing together. Uh, ask some other guitar players that you know, how do they practice? And once you have your practicing down, then we can start to take these problems that we're having, change the way we're thinking, and then we're going to make sure that everything that we work on uh, is part of the journey, not just a losing battle. It's all how you approach these things. I really enjoy episodes like this, and I don't do them all the time, but when I do them, I always hear back from people about, hey, that was insightful or, or that really helped. There are a lot of people who are frustrated with playing the guitar and the guitar is important to them. They're not just going to stop it, but they feel stuck. You don't have to be stuck. These can just be little bumps along the way. Uh, it's all in how you approach this. You're a problem solver and there is lots of help for you to solve problems. So make sure that you reflect on your own frustrations on the guitar. Consider how you can change your self-talk, how you can change your mindset as you approach the guitar. Realize that this is a journey. These are just speed bumps, little bumps along the way. You're going to figure this thing out, and there's a lot of help out there for you. I'm happy to help you with any of these things, help you with your practicing. And in fact, I've I've got something for you. It's the most valuable asset that I use for all of my coaching students. And you can get this while I still have it up there. It's not going to be up forever. And this is my high performance scorecard. It takes 10 minutes. You can just fill this thing out. And at the end, you will know exactly where you stand as far as guitar and moving forward. Uh, it's over. At, you can get it from playguitaracademy.com on the front page. But I also have a link for it in the show notes. Okay. I hope you're doing good. I hope, uh, you know, there is a brighter day ahead 
for you with your guitar playing. I know it's going to be there. And uh, let's go ahead and make this stuff happen. OK, that's a wrap. Thanks for joining me today for the Play Guitar Podcast. Make sure to hit the button below to subscribe to the show. And if you've benefited from this podcast, please leave a favorable Apple Podcasts, iTunes review. It's the best way to make sure we get this very valuable content to more guitar players around the world. And if more help, structure, and results in your guitar playing sound good to you, what are you waiting for? Join us. Become a member of Play Guitar Academy. You are going to get our monthly uh, masterclass, first Monday of every month, and also our weekly Q&A sessions, plus the entire roadmap, uh, season one of our academy podcast all sorts of stuff in there um but we're we're in there and we learn this thing together and i'm looking forward to seeing you next week bye-bye